Hey guys, it's Jeff, and uh, today we are talking a little bit about iOS 12.3. I'm sorry I've been gone all week long. I haven't had uh, much content out this week, but uh, fortunately that's for a good reason. I actually picked up a uh, Tesla Model S this week. That's super exciting, and I'll definitely have that on the channel pretty soon. Uh, so yeah, that is, that is where I've been and uh, it's kind of taken some time out of the channel, but I will be back next week with a ton of content for you guys. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk about iOS 12.3, a possible release date and new features for that build of iOS. Guys, go check out Clean My Mac X. It's absolutely amazing. I use it every day and I cannot say this enough, every Mac user needs this program. So go check it out. There's a link down below with more info and you can also go download it to try it out for yourself. Okay, so iOS 12.3 beta one uh, presented us with a couple changes here and there, but not much to be to be perfectly honest. And then since that, we haven't really seen any changes whatsoever. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about iOS 12.3 and then we'll move on to a release date. So just a quick recap, as I said, beta one presented the uh, kind of most new features or changes, and that was found in the Apple TV app for one. The Apple TV app received a huge redesign and uh, that was due to Apple's TV subscription service coming out uh, last month. So Apple did in fact push a new designed app here, a newly designed app, and uh, it looks fantastic. So if you by chance have the betas, go ahead and check it out. But if you want to go ahead and check it out on uh, our channel here, go ahead and check out the iOS 12.3 beta one video. You can get kind of get like a sense of what that looks like and how it operates. But basically that was the only change that we saw in beta one, the most major one in fact, and and that will likely uh, come to be released very soon here uh, with the official version of iOS 12.3. Now, what we also saw was a lot of modem firmware changes. So we saw actually two upgrades within the iOS 12.3 betas, and those are quite significant. Obviously with uh, a lot of other people running previous versions of iOS, we, they've been experiencing a lot of issues with uh, a lot of, you know, basically hardware issues or firmware issues with, uh, you know, cellular service, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. So having that modem firmware update uh, kind of has helped a few people here with uh, drop calls, uh, you know, loss of signal and everything like that. So that has definitely helped a few people out there and Apple is continuing to develop the firmware to basically help the people as much as possible to uh, get, get better signal and uh, just maintain calls and not have them drop. So hopefully Apple continues on that path. They have definitely been working on that in the iOS 12.3 bit is, but either than the Apple TV and uh, the Apple TV app redesign and the modem former changes, uh, kind of upgrades there, we haven't really seen much. Now we have seen a slight improvement on battery life and by that I mean the battery life hasn't exactly gotten longer. You can just do more with that battery life that you have. So what I'm saying is the battery performance is a lot better. The CPU and GPU have gotten a little bit more efficient here. And uh, yeah, we're just looking at a very stable build of iOS. So that kind of leads me into why iOS 12.3 because all of the other other builds like iOS 12.1 and iOS 12.2, uh, those builds had a lot of major, uh, you know, new features, a lot of major changes. And with iOS 12.3, we're not really seeing much. Well, Apple is set to release iOS 13 beta one within a month at WWDC. So we're likely not going to see any new features or major changes within iOS 12.3. Uh, you have to think iOS 12.3 may be one of the last versions of iOS 12 that we may see support for. So they are definitely trying to wrap things up, uh, you know, make it as secure as possible, make sure that it's uh, as fast as possible and as stable as possible as we move our focus on to iOS 13. So obviously with all of these performance updates to battery life, CPU, GPU, and uh, just making sure that modem firmware works and everything like that, uh, Apple is clearly putting a, a stress on uh, stability within iOS 12.3. So when is iOS 12.3 going to be released? Uh, yeah, that is kind of up for debate. My guess is that we might see it as early as the 6th of May, that is Monday, uh, all the way to the 10th, which is the uh, Friday of next week. And yeah, I really hope that it comes out next week because that will kind of push us into more leaks, more rumors and everything like that with iOS 13. So hopefully that is the case and hopefully we just get a more stable build of iOS 12 here with iOS 12.3. As I said before, there hasn't been too many changes 
is. So there's not really much to correct or much to focus on with iOS 12.3, just squashing a few bugs here and there. So I doubt that we'll be seeing, um, you know, a beta five, but if we do, that will likely be the last beta that we see with iOS 12.3. Now, moving on to uh, kind of like the timeline again, uh, as I said, we might be seeing it next week, but do not expect a GM build of iOS 12.3 betas. We haven't really seen GM builds at all with the uh, iOS 12 lineup. So Apple may be in fact moving away from that. I think we've only seen one. Uh, so Apple really isn't putting out a GM build. Uh, they're just kind of releasing software because they know that it's solid. So guys, yeah, that is iOS 12.3 beta news. Uh, we might not be seeing another beta here. We might actually be seeing the official release next week. Fingers crossed for that. And just, yeah, stay tuned for iOS 13. That is coming within the month. Uh, you know, Apple has their worldwide developers conference next month in June, and we're all super stoked and excited to see what they have in store for us with iOS 13. So guys, thanks for watching this video on iOS 12.3 betas. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, kind of write those down below in the comment section. And I personally will get back to you as soon as possible on any of those. Again, thank you all for watching. If you liked our content and you want to see more and stay up to date with all of the iOS news, make sure to get subscribed and also hit the bell button to get updates as soon as that content is released. So guys, enjoy your weekend and I hope to see you next week in some upcoming content. Peace.